If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supplies. What do you want to know? If you haven't heard of the King, he must have been living under a rock or something. The King has his boys all over Freeside. He controls the water pump and is essentially the go-to guy for what goes around here. They are the local energy weapon dealers in Freeside. When it comes to lasers and plasma, they're the only game in town, and they keep it that way. Gloria's men are the best armed in Freeside and ruthless to boot. But her brother, Jean-Baptiste Cutting, puts them all to shame. Their joint is the only place in Freeside to get it all under one roof. They've got gambling, booze, chems, and whores. They're good folks, just don't cross them. They're known for tidying up loose ends with a bullet to the brain box. Anything else I can help you with? Take a gander. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we get by. Van Graff's getting killed is making a mess of things, but we have other customers. That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. If you hear anything, let me know. Anything else I can help you with? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? In that case, yes I do. Follow me. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. I can't believe you actually got one. Give me a bit to get the recipe set up, then talk to me again. Help us. This is incredibly good. Here's your omelet, and the recipe if you ever want to make your own. It takes a bit of skill to get it tasting right. All right, then. You need something? 
I'd noticed Snuffles limping, but I didn't realize the problem was that serious. Thanks. That beast helps keep spirits up around here. It's nice to see things going the way they're supposed to for a change. I'm going to pay you out of my own pocket for this one. Now, coming from anyone else, I'd say they were drunk or crazy. But that look in your eyes, I believe you. I can pay you, but it ain't much for what you pulled off. I'll get on the ham radio first thing and tell people all about you, though. This is a dangerous place, human, especially for your kind. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. You must have heard her radio broadcast. Though why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. For years, Black Mountain was a peaceful community. Its leader, Marcus, broadcast an invitation to mutants throughout the wasteland. That's how I found Black Mountain. So did others, most of them second generation mutants. Marcus welcomed everyone. That was his mistake. The community ended up being mostly second-gen, not very bright, but easy to influence. Fine until the Nightkin came along, led by Tabitha. In a week, she had most of the second-gens thinking she was some kind of prophet, and that she should be broadcasting her truth, not Marcus. Marcus saw what was coming and decided to leave before things got out of hand. He smashed the radio and left to found Jacobstown. There's a sad story behind that. Marcus smashed it just fine, but while we were gone, some ghoul named Raoul came along. Tabitha turned him into her personal mechanic. A slave, really. See, if I'd been standing down here, I could have warned him before it was too late. Marcus sent me here a couple of months ago to check on Black Mountain. I suppose you could say I came here as a spy. But with no signs of Tabitha's weakening and none of the second gens ready to revolt or to come to Jacobstown, there wasn't much I could do. Down here, on the other hand, I've saved a dozen mutants from heading up the mountain. It's not much, but it's something. I have my own reasons to stay away from Jacobstown for a while. Reasons we won't be discussing. So I've stayed here. The road is a series of switchbacks up to the peak. There are three blockades plus patrols. Sneaking past them would be... difficult. Just before the peak is a kind of shanty village. More second gens there. And then there's Tabitha's compound, heavily guarded by her night king. Keep saying things like that and I won't be so friendly. Not every super mutant is a brain damaged brute. Many of us are just as intelligent as basic humans, and the rest don't really have any choice in the matter, do they? And none taken, since you apologized. The opposite of Black Mountain. A stable community of mutants, mostly. Led by a mentally stable leader. Humans are welcome there, so long as they behave themselves. Look northwest of Red Rock Canyon if you want to find it. The Nightkin are vicious in combat, and that's if you see them coming. Most don't. They were created to be soldiers and given devices to camouflage them in battle. Unfortunately, the devices drove most of them mad over time. They spend most of their time at the top of the mountain, but patrol the roads after dark as well. You'd do well to avoid the mountain at night. Yes, I hear that sometimes. And then I never see the people who said it again.
Help would improve the odds. Help might just make the difference. All right, if you're good enough at what you do to meet me in the village up near the peak, we can talk further. I'll have a plan by the time I see you, if I see you. Good luck. It's gonna be a lot harder for you to get up there than it will be for me. Pleasant surprise to see you made it. I'm ready to get started if you are. Whatever you need to do, be quick about it. I last spoke to her. I hope she hasn't gotten lonely. Rhonda? Is that you? It is, Mistress Tabitha. How I've missed you so. This stranger here fixed me up right as rain. Is he a friend of yours? I... I don't know how to thank you for bringing Rhonda back to me, stranger. Here, take this. I won't be needing it anymore. It's just such a shock to see Rhonda up and about again. I, I'm not sure what to do now. Mistress Tabitha, we should be heading off. Our journey has been much delayed, but we can catch up if we hurry. 
Come along now. Yes, Rhonda. Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. Probably because it used to be Miguel's. Whoever he was. How about if you let me go, huh, boss? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, can I go now? Alrighty then. I'll just head out, alone, by myself, into the dangerous waste. Sorry, boss, but as much as I like to risk getting killed by your side, you seem to already have some help. Sorry, boss, but as much as I like to risk getting killed by your side, you seem to already have some help. Sure, boss. What do you want to know? Anything you say, boss. Maybe now this place can rest in peace. Who knows? It might stay abandoned, get used as a base for raiders, or even become another colony for mutants. The future is not written, human, and it is foolish to squint at what cannot be seen. I still have a job to do here. Some mutants may have heard Tabitha's broadcasts and are headed here even as we speak. I'll remain and direct anyone who show up toward Jacobstown, where they'll be much better off. Be safe, human. And thanks again for everything. Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. <laughs> 